This is the fifth and final in a series of videos covering the restoration of a 1902 Camire banjo. This is a bit of the final result. In the previous videos, I repaired the tuning pegs and the fretboard and refinished the back and repaired uh, cracks. And uh, right now, I'm just polishing the hardware, tightening the head, reinstalling the tailpiece. So at this point, the string height, I just put the strings on and the height is quite high. What I'm doing here is adjusting the neck angle. There's one at the tail piece and another one at the neck. This was high technology at the time. Instruments before the banjo didn't have neck angle adjustment. Modern guitars and mandolins that use a truss rod. Banjos use devices like this. And that's improved the uh, height of the strings, the action, a good bit. But we can still do more. I'm going to reduce the height of the bridge to further lower the strings down onto the threads. So this shows that we've gotten the strings down to the same level as a classical guitar, which is great for claw hammer banjo. You could get them lower, but as you go lower, you start creating new problems. The fifth string has a tiny bit of a buzz and uh, in the open position, so I'm raising the open position by adding a little bit of uh, height to the zero fret for the fifth string, which is done with uh, baking soda and acrylic resin. Turns into something almost like rock. Now I'm uh, filling in the missing details in the mother of pearl inlay with ink and then scrape away the excess with a razor. There's still a lot of, uh, after lowering the strings, there's still a lot of uh, frets that had to be that were high in places and had to be uh, adjusted and filed down a bit more. And I'm uh, filing the edges, the rough edges of the neck because that'll scratch your hand while you're playing. I spoke to the owner about adding strap buttons and so that's what we're doing now strap buttons make it really easy to take your banjo on and off when you're playing which is the whole point lots of playing so the new screw and the old screw are different sizes so I'm going to fill the hole a bit same as before a little bit of glue on some toothpicks drive them into the hole Make a new space for the smaller screw. That's wax on the screw threads to make sure that it doesn't corrode and become embedded into the wood to make it easier to get out in the future. There's the other. 
And I've got the the bridge and the strings and the strap buttons. I'm ready to tune it up. And then we find that there's yet another buzz, so uh, a bit more CA, a bit more baking soda, a bit more filing. I just use a saw. Makes a great tool for uh, setting the uh, the string groove just right. And then there's the final. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy these videos. Leave a like and subscribe.